It's the most dangerous ride of a man's life. But a special breed of cowboys is willing to throw caution to the wind and saddle up. No, we're not talking about competitive bull riding, but a brush with a new breed of hotter than pepper sprouts rodeo queens who call themselves Buckle Bunnies. Immortalized in books such as Fried Twinkies, Buckle Bunnies, and Bull Riders, these feisty southern bells are out to have fun and raise hell. For some cowgirls, there's nothing more exciting than the sight of a hunky cowboy staring death in the face, the smell of sweat and sawdust, and the dazzling beauty of the giant sparkly belt buckle that rodeo winners receive as a trophy. Why stay at home with some sad old housewives when you have a free all-access pass to follow our five self-proclaimed buckle bunnies across the country during the entire rodeo season? These five friends are bucking at the gate, eager to travel, see new cities, meet new friends, thrill to the action, cajole the best seats next to the chutes, and cheer on their favorite competitive bull riders. Every night, they'll hit the town getting to know the nightlife of Southern and Western America. They'll get gussied up in skin-tight jeans, hand-tooled boots, cowboy hats, and tied-up Western shirts. Everything they need to ride the range, looking for any stray bull riders. Some of the girls are just there to look, cheer on their favorite bull rider, or maybe teach a handsome guy in a hat how to do the two-step. Other buckle bunnies are aiming to rope a cowboy to call their own. Pity any bull rider that comes across them. These country boys may be able to handle 2,000 pounds of pissed off beef, but there's no cowboy who can out drink, out sass, out dance, or outwit our buckle bunnies. Through triumph and heartache, the girls can be bawdy and brash, or sweet as Georgia tea, but they're always totally endearing. Their love of travel, rodeos, and new experiences can't be corralled.